But there's some ways in which my dog, my dog book differs from many of them. It's not a training book, although after reading it, you might be able to better train your dog. It's not a sentimental book, although it's full of a lot of the sentiments involved in living with dogs and working with dogs. It's not a book about how dogs are really cute or are little humans, and neither is it a book about how dogs are just wolves in fancy domesticated clothing. Instead, it's about viewing dogs as dogs, trying to understand their point of view. Dogs know a huge amount uh, about us based largely on their acute, acute sense of smell. So they know if we're sad, they know what we've had for dinner, and they know this because we emit smells that tell them about this. When we're sad, we emit hormones. They might know that if we're anxious before we even feel anxious because of the change in stress hormones. And this isn't to say that they think about sadness or dinner the way we do, but they definitely know that about us. One nice example of the behavior dogs do, which we misinterpret, is their kissing of our face, their licking our face. People think that's a sign of love, it's a sign of affection. Maybe. A better explanation might come from looking at their ancestors, wolves. When wolves go hunting and then return to the family group, they're mobbed by all the other wolves in the group, the pups, the older dogs. They're not greeting him affectionately, they're hoping that he'll regurgitate a little bit of food and feed them as well. So I think maybe what dogs are doing with us is wondering if we'll regurgitate a little bit of food. And they wouldn't be unhappy if we did. Dogs evolved with human beings, I would say. The best DNA and archaeological evidence dates to tens of thousands of years ago. It appears that some early dogs, wolf-like dogs, started coming into sort of infiltrating human societies, were let in and kept as pets. And those who were most responsive to humans were probably the ones who kept it, were kept around the longest and who reproduced. That led to dogs who were more and more sympathetic to us and agreeable to us. I hope that after reading Inside of a Dog, readers will be able to try to imagine what it's like to be a dog. I hope people realize also how sensitive dogs are at reading our behavior. That doesn't mean they understand everything that we say, but they're very good at taking cues from us. I wish we were better readers of their behavior.